Okay, uh, sorry I, I put a, a mistake in the earlier version of the question, but this is okay now. So you're trying to show that the sum of the first n odd numbers is n squared. So let's look at it from this point of view, right? So here's the first odd number. That's actually the same as 1, which is the same as 1 squared. Now let's look at the first two odd numbers, 1 plus 3, that's equal to 4, which is actually, actually the same as 2 squared. The first three odd numbers, 1 plus 3 plus 5 is 9, and 9 is the same as 3 squared. The first four odd numbers, 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7, that's equal to 16, which is 4 squared. So you're basically trying to prove that if you add together the first 10 odd numbers, for example, that will be the same as 10 squared. So follow the induction series. So prove the proposition is true for the lowest possible value of n. So here, n is an element of the natural numbers. The lowest natural number is 1. So we test p of 1. The first odd number, is that equal to 1 squared? Well, indeed it is. So therefore, the proposition is true for p of 1. Now, we assume p of k, and the assumption is going to be really important because we'll always use our assumption in induction. So we assume that the proposition is true up to k. Now, k is just some number. It could be 10, it could be 100, it could be 1,000. It's just a, a value, so plus 2k minus 1. And that's equal to k squared. Now, look at this. You're going to look out for this expression again, and wherever you see it, you're going to replace it with k squared. And now, assuming p of k is true, I prove the proposition is true for k plus 1. So up here, I said that k could be 1, it could be 10, it could be 100. Sorry, k could be 10, 100, or 1,000. So that means that k plus 1 would be 11, 101, or 1,001. k is just one more. Uh, sorry, k plus 1 is one more than k. So... So add up the numbers, so plus 2 of k minus 1. So this is, for example, the first 10 odd numbers, and then this will be the 11th odd number. So I'm just replacing, and I have to show that that's equal to k plus 1 squared. So just looking at that again, right, here's the p of k plus 1. This is all the numbers up to p of k. So then one more than that, just replace k with k plus 1. And here's this expression again. So if that's the same as k squared, then so is this. So I can remove that and replace it with k squared. So k squared plus, and I'm going to tidy up in here, 2 times k is 2k. Um, I'm actually sorry, I'll just fix it here in a second, sorry. And that equals, yes, yeah, so k plus 1 squared. So multiply this out now, and I get k squared. Now 2 times k is 2k. And 2 times 1 is 2, and then take away 1, that gives you 1. Now I have to show that the left-hand side equals the right-hand side. So you have two ways now. You can either square out the bracket and show that the right-hand side is equal to the left-hand side, or you can just factorize this, which is best practice. Just keep trying to turn the left-hand side into the right-hand side. When I factorize this, I get k plus 1 times k plus 1. And k plus 1 times k plus 1 is k plus 1 squared, which is equal to k plus 1 squared. So therefore, the left-hand side equals the right-hand side. So, P of K plus 1 is true, assuming uh, P of K is true. Therefore, by the principle of mathematical induction, So the principle of mathematical induction, um, uh, 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 2n 
minus 1 is equal to n squared for all values of n.